wanted to come on and quickly show you quizis.com. It is a free resource. When you log in, you're going to come here. You can create your own quizzes here at the top center. Well, just off to the left. You can find quizzes, which is my favorite thing. Off to the left side, there's my quizzes, the ones that I've created. They're saved here. It gives you reports. Here's some reports, assignments that I've been creating and checking out. This would give you all your class information, memes. It does pop up with memes for the students when they make a mistake. They're kind of funny. The kids get amused. I am teaching geometry. So everything that pops up here in the is my geometry section. I can go more. Or right here, I can just enter my search topic, centroid. And I like to look at these, see how many times they've been played, what grade they've been played by. If they're newer, I may not um, send them out. But if they're tried and true, very possible. Okay, so we've clicked on centroid. We have 15 questions. They are all multiple choice and you can have it pop up with a meme that tells them if they got it right or wrong. I didn't have to create any of this. These are all pre-created. Different teachers create them and share them. So if you go over here to practice, go down, you can get a practice link. These practice links don't expire and you're going to get nothing back on these. These are just for the students to practice their skills. You copy this link here and you would go and paste it into your Google Classroom as an assignment and ask the students to practice this. Okay, over here, we can go to play and it gives us flashcards. You click here and you can share the link You've got the link copied. You go paste it into your Google Classroom and students have these flashcards. I'm gonna show them to you now. Notice memes are gonna light up. I've got a timer set for the game. And we're gonna go through the flashcards and this is what the students would do. They would look at that first one, answer the question. Did I get it right? Okay, then let's flip the next one. Did I get that one right? Okay go through these and this is a great way for students to practice. If you're in the classroom, you could play it live and project a leaderboard onto your through your projector. Um, I do suggest when you go live to take off the timer because that way they're going for accuracy. They're not going for speed and guessing like some other games that I've played. Um, but they're going for accuracy and the students really get into that and work really hard. But being that right now I'm teaching remotely, I'm going to do the assign as homework. I can actually use this as a self-grading quiz, however I would like. I'm going to go here, host a game. I will then either snip this and share it into Google Classroom or just copy this code. And in Google Classroom, I'm going to create an assignment, tell my students, joinmyquiz.com, and to enter this code, and to take that quiz. If you look down below here, you can see all the questions that are going to be asked and the time that's been set. If you want to change the time, you would need to go to this Edit tab. Any of these you can edit. You can edit and add new questions, delete questions, whatever it is you like. You can do that right here and then it'll save it and it'll be saved over here under your quizzes. So these are the questions that your students will be asked. If you don't like the questions, then you may go in and create your own quiz. So up here at the top, you would go to create a new, name your quiz, and select, it's gonna be for my geometry class. I'm 
we can bring some questions in. So these are possible choices and I would just click add or I can go over here and create my own question. The only trick with math, um, it's not just words. You are going to need to create a image document. You can do that in Google drawing, snipping your question, your picture, and put it into a Google drawing, save it as a PNG. Then you can upload that here. So this is where you would add your images and then you add your multiple choices. Personally, I would rather just choose from their selection or choose a ready-made one. That's the easiest way to go, but I definitely have created quizzes, actual quiz in quizzes. And there you have it. That's everything you need to know to get started with quizzes. Check it out. It's a perfect tool for uh, remote learning and I really enjoy it. Take that step. Be uniquely wonderful you. Bye.